Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. John 8 and 36 says, Who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. And in the last uh, two decades or so, the Most High has been opening the eyes of many of our people and setting them free from institutions that have long held us in check and the um, the uh, moniker that was given to black people that was waking up to the the lies and, and stuff that had been told us was that they are woke and in 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 true uh some of the um ideologies and things that our people were uh grabbing hold to uh some of them were uh or are incorrect or some of them were uh some of the same reasons why we uh got put into captivity in the first place but overall the the waking up of uh us i believe was a move of the holy spirit of yah and so again um the the term woke at first was uh widely accepted but we have gone into some uh, critical times in the um, in the transition uh, of our people from being subservient to now wanting to get acknowledgement for some of the things that we now know and now the powers that be are trying to discredit being woke by uh manipulating stories uh putting out uh, uh agents out there to put forth false uh information about certain things that if our people don't study they'll 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 spread it and then they say so is this what it means to be woke so that it has been infiltrated and a lot of uh people that were once what they call to be woke are saying now I, I i'm not woke no more i'm i'm going back to that which i once knew uh, it, 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 it's, it's because that which I once knew had been around and I tried this 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 woke thing and I and I feel uncomfortable but I don't feel like I'm you know I'm, I'm I, I, I feel more comfortable being part of the group so that now uh, you gonna have some people going back into uh, the 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 Eurocentric Christianity, you having some go back into, uh, you know, celebrating the wicked holidays and, you know, going with the, the narrative that the, the, the colonizers gave us because they said, uh, we want peace at all costs, and so some people are going to give up their that that freedom of thought, that freedom of being able to you know not be afraid to go study things that you know before our people was fearful to study they want to go back into their sleep mode but i'm not i'm not i'm not going to do that with all every fiber being in me and through the power of the holy spirit i'm not going back to sleep i'm not going to be enslaved again entangled by falsehoods i'm not going to be entangled by uh the the illusion of being 
in, in, included in their group only because you uh, follow the uh, the status quo. I'm not gonna do it. But a lot of our people, especially those that are of age, they just want peace in the latter parts of their their lives. So even though they might uh, see that it's false, they're like the the man on the matrix, and he he you know he had got tired of the fact that hey I'm not in the matrix, therefore the food and stuff that I'm eating is just so horrible. The the situation that uh, we are in trying to fight against this matrix seems so, um, uh, what's that word? When you, insurmountable, seem to be so insurmountable, we'll never win. And so we find that he, he, uh, he made a deal with the agents to get put back into the matrix. And in the one scene, you know, he's sitting at the table with the agents eating a steak. And he's saying, I know that this steak is not real, but I choose to believe that it's real. And then I said, uh, oh, what, what, what do you want in trade for this? He said, not much. I just want, I just want to be uh, like a very rich man, and you know, I want to have all the women that I want, and blah 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 blah, all this kind of stuff, right? You know, and they said, sure, as long as you give us Neo. He said, I can't give you Neo. I can only give you Morpheus. But I'm willing to go back into the Matrix and be enslaved in something that makes me feel good. And so this is the situation with the, 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 the things coming with the, the, the vaccines. You know, I just wanna, I wanna enjoy the summer. I wanna see my family members and, and, and I don't wanna lose my job and I don't wanna be put on some government blacklist because I might possibly be a carrier. And, and so we, that have been set free will go back into bondage. And that's not to say if you get the vaccination that you got the mark of the beast or anything like that, but I think it's definitely a precursor to the, the fact that the, the, the discomfort of not being willing to take it, that if people will cave and bend on that, this thing when it comes down to the the, the the mark where they say you won't be able to buy or sell unless you choose to take it. See, it's gonna be a choice just like this 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 vaccine. It's it's a choice. They're not gonna force you, but they, they you know, well, let me take that back. In the military, starting in September, they will be forced to take it. Without, and, and, and some cities are are mandating it but even still then either you get it or they're gonna put you out the military it's your job either you get it or they're going to uh you're gonna lose your job like those those uh nurses at the hospital in houston you you're gonna just be out they're not gonna hold you down and inject it in your arm no that's not gonna be it they're gonna say it's, it's this or it's that and so that's why I'm telling you now is the time for us through the power of the Holy Spirit to build up our most holy faith, you know, praying in the Holy Spirit so that when the, the choice comes. But see, the first time it might not get you. You might you might you might not, you know, take it. Right. But then as they up up the ante, it's going to be different. And no, I, I, don't, I, I don't think the people that they are showing magnetized have the mark, but they're showing you that they do, that nanoparticles and things, which are actually little robots, do exist and can, and can, and, and can exist in people's bodies. And that they, they have done this so that we know that the mark of the, of the, 
the the beast that they say that you're gonna have to take that is already something that they uh not the actual mark but they actually are putting things in people that are little robots so with that said are you willing to give up your your liberty in Yeshua to go back to be enslaved because this goes right along with us accepting the LGBTQ this goes with us accepting uh, that when they're gonna make uh, being a pedo letting letting pedophiles be legal this is gonna go along with when they when they uh, push bestiality where people can marry their their pets and their dogs this is going to be all part of the acceptance of it right and 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 it's going to be so casual it's just going to be so so matter of fact that it's going to be here and people going to say i didn't see it coming and so you know we we really we got to be really prayerful and ask the most high in the name of his son yeshua to help us to stay free stay woke don't go back to sleep like the man on the matrix don't go back to sleep and uh, i i just i'm just praying for our people in the military you know because they, uh one time i was in when they was doing those anthrax shots and those anthrax shots was killing people and they was making a lot of people sick and so what happened was you had uh, service members across all branches that was refusing. And some of these were outstanding soldiers, but the military did not care. They court-martialed some of them, kicked, up, kicked up some of them out, right? And so they came out later and they had to put a moratorium on the anthrax shot because of basically the company that was making them, they had made it where you couldn't sue these companies when all these people was dying because of the Ferris doctor. But what they did, once they gave it FDA approval, finally, then they brought it back where it was mandatory again. But they had to do a pause on it. Why it wind its way to the court. Excuse me for the noise there. So this is what we, we're facing, people. This is what we're facing. But in all this, the Most High is gonna help us to be triumphant. I believe that. And so with that, um, just hang in there. You know, pray fast. Prayer is our weapon to, to use against Pfizer, to use against Johnson & Johnson to use against Moderna, to use against the FDA and the CDC and the HHS. Prayer is our weapon to use against these. And that's, that's, that's use it in, in, in the NIH. So with that, I'm gonna say, you see this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Be blessed.